The thing is, is that if you don't participate in human reality, in daily life, and connect with the other humans, you're not going to get your lessons. You're not going to get the chance to do the project your soul came to do. You came to participate in life, not be a spectator. Being human is not a spectator sport. It's time now to get truly involved in your life. A lot of people try to sit by the sidelines and not have to participate too much because, well, humans are a little crazy, aren't they? Just try to pick the harmless ones and participate in this reality. Participate all the way. Because if you don't, you're missing what you came here to do. If you sit on the bylines and you sit on the side and you don't participate very much. This isn't, it's not creating the situation that you had come here to create. You came here to be a human, a human being. You came to participate in this reality and be part of the sports, be part of the game, be part of the of the tribe. Learn how to connect with people. Don't be afraid of people. They're mostly trying to get other people to like them and mostly they're worried about being liked by you. They're mostly being worried about being accepted by the tribe just like you are. And so participate, 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 participate in this reality. Participate all the way. Be part of the human reality. Be part of the tribe. Don't stay home all the time in your room. Don't stay home and avoid social interaction. Don't just do your social interaction on social media and the internet. Be part of humanity. It's not a spectator sport. This is a real game that you have agreed to be part of. And this is the game of life. And the game of life is a beautiful game because you get to learn, you get to grow, you collect experiences, you get to love, you get to be angry, you get to learn lessons, you get to be grateful, you get to be ungrateful, you get to be this and that and everything in between. It's the nature of duality. And this is a really great experience for God's self, who you are part of. God is your consciousness. You are the expression of that consciousness. A lot of people are afraid to be part of the human tribe, part of the human race, afraid to participate in life because, yes, things can hurt. If you fall in love with somebody, they could break your heart. If you trust somebody, they could break your trust. If you give your well-being in somebody else's hands, like a doctor or a caretaker, they could let you down. Yes, there's a lot of things that can happen, but you can recover. You can recover from anything that happens. Sure, there might be a process to it. You might have a grieving process if you lose a loved one. You might have a adjustment process if something happens to change your situation. There may be fill in the blank. There's lots of different things that can happen and will happen because this isn't a vacation planet. <laughs> this is one you got to work at. This is a project. This is the human condition project. Rewiring of the human condition. You decided to come and be part of that. Let yourself be carried in the river of life. Let yourself be part of it and let the lessons come. By hiding from humanity, by hiding away from being part of it, you are avoiding your life lessons. You're avoiding the chance to grow. You're avoiding the chance to accomplish your soul agenda, what your soul came here to do. And your soul came here 
to rewire a specific human condition. All of us had to choose one. And you came to do this. So, get to work, young grasshopper. It's time now. Make the changes that you need to make. And you're only going to be able to do that and find the flaws in yourself by bumping up against the other humans and finding the places that aren't so grown up, the places that aren't so mature. I, I spent some time really alone and zen. I mean, it was really easy to be zen <laughs> when there's nobody around to bother you. <laughs> By doing that, I missed years worth of lessening, years worth of growth that I should have done before I had. I missed years because I could control my environment so much that I didn't have any challenging people in it. I wouldn't let them be there. And in fact, I spent pretty much six years in the wilderness for the most part. Come out now and then just to earn a little bit of money and go right back in. I'd play some guitar on a street corner and, and earn a couple hundred dollars and I could buy six months worth of food and go back into the wilderness. That was back in the 80s, so it was all pretty cheap then. And the thing is, is that if you don't participate in human reality, in daily life, and connect with the other humans, you're not going to get your lessons. You're not going to get the chance to do the project your soul came to do, which was to rewire the human condition a little bit. You're part of the job in this evolution of a species. This is all about evolving this species to be able to hold more consciousness of God's self. And right now, we got a long way to go. But every little bit of healing that each individual does contributes to the healing of the mass consciousness of this species. And so you volunteered to do this. No one said it was going to be easy. No one said life was going to be fair. Not even fair. But you as a soul knew what you were getting into. You knew humans are all a little crazy. <laughs> in their own unique and individual ways. And you knew that it was going to be a challenge. You knew it wasn't going to be easy. Take on the challenge that you agreed to take on as a soul and be fully in the human reality. Be fully a human. Be fully willing to engage in the tribe. Don't just sit on the side alone and avoid the people because this was never the point of coming here. It wasn't the point of coming here. I'm going to come here and I'm just going to hide. That's not what your soul was planning to do. That might be a coping mechanism because every time you connect with people, you get hurt somehow. But as you master things, you'll connect with people who don't hurt you. And as you grow and as you develop this human condition, you'll It'll be more masterful at picking who is evolved enough to be with you, but you have to be evolved enough to be with them. And so in order to do that, you have to get to work. And you do that by bumping up against the other humans. We're all like bumper cars bumping up against each other. And nobody's trying to hurt anybody on purpose. It's all by accident. But we're kind of bumping up against each other and, and hurting each other by accident, really. Most of the time, it's an accident. Once in a while, it's not. When a person has a lot of anger or has been influenced by dark energies. But those are usually not the kind of people you're going to be hanging out with. You're not in that evolutionary stage of hanging out with people who are literally harmful. Most people, I would say 95% to maybe 99% of the people, really have good intentions. They don't mean to hurt anyone. It's just an accident if you do. And when that happens, grow, learn, work on your condition, your human condition, and change those inner vibrations. If you want to change the outer world and attract the heavenly people, you've got to hold a heavenly vibration. So if you don't hold a heavenly vibration inside yourself, it's time to get to work. And no cheating by hiding out in your room or being out in the country in some wilderness place or whatever, that's cheating. 
for being Zen. When you're at the top of the mountain, on it, it's easy to be Zen in the monastery. It's easy to be Zen by yourself on the top of a mountain. But what would happen is the monks, the master would say, all right, you think you're enlightened? Well, go down into the city and get a job. Let's see how enlightened you are. Go down in the city and help the people. Let's see how enlightened you are. Because people even resist the help. You have to be so masterful not to take any of that personally. Relax, relax, relax. The humans aren't trying to hurt you. <laughs> humans are not your enemy. You're part of the human species. And don't pretend you're not. Don't pretend, well, I came from outer space and I got dropped off by a spaceship here somehow. Or, I'm not really supposed to be here. There was an accident in the universe somehow that I got here. So, I'm just waiting to go home and, and get out of here. No, 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 no. No, these are all mental constructs. None of us are from here, if you want to know the truth. All of us are from somewhere else. Entirety of God is from somewhere else. So, I mean, if you really want to know the truth, none of this stuff really exists. It's all just God dreaming. Jump in. You agreed to be a human for this amount of time. Accept being a human. Love being a human. The, your soul is actually really fascinated with this whole being a human thing. Stop trying to escape the challenge you chose as a soul. You did this to yourself, you know. You put yourself here as a human. There was no accident in the universe. I thought that for a while too. <laughs> Till I realized, no, actually I chose to be a human and in fact I chose to go through some really insanely difficult stuff as a child so that I could do what I do now. Relax, 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 relax and just be a human. Participate with the other humans and become an angel and help the others become an angel. Human angels is what we are. We forgot where we came from. We forgot that we're angels. We came in here to be in the construction zone, get a little dirty and a little mucky and, and clean this whole evolution up and, and get it going a little faster to catch up with the evolution that this species should be at about now. Maybe it's perfect right where it is, but it'd be nice if it moves a little faster, huh? So we need your participation for this to speed up and to become faster and to become a beautiful world. Humanity has a utopian future. It's hands down, it's already decided. We're leaving the 26,000 years of the Kali Yuga and we're going into the 26,000 years of the Sat Yuga, which is a utopian future for humanity. It's like seasons. The Kali Yuga was for learning about darkness, duality, um, misuse of power, it, because humanity is learning to hold the wisdom of God's self. Knowing how the land of cause and effect works, humanity is about ready to go into the Sat Yuga, which is a time of being able to explore all the spiritual goodies that are waiting for us. The next 26,000 years is all exploring the heart and these upper chakras. The communication and the self-expression, humanity's creative self-expression, the heart that knows, the heart that can tap into the wisdom of this eternal self, the heart that doesn't let somebody else on the other side of the world starve, the heart that knows it's all oneself, and so no wars or harm can actually be done to each other because the heart knows that it's doing it to itself. So that's a whole nother level of evolution that we are about to move into. But then comes the self-expression, this expression of the divine creativity. Then comes the, the third eye and exploring the final frontier, which is all these other dimensions that we can perceive if we build the software for it, which is happening in its beginning stages now with people who can us project and remote view and, and lucid dream and have telepathy or things like this, the psychic skills. This is just the beginning of a very, very long exploration path for humanity's future. And that future is starting to happen now. And then there is the divine connection to the universal all that is. How long 
a path this is that we have ahead of us for exploring that which isn't of, a, of the lower nature, that which isn't survival and the struggle between relations and the struggle with the mental realms and not really knowing how to use our, our mental capacities correctly as humans. So relax. You're in the middle of a long, 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 long journey. So enjoy the ride, enjoy the humans, enjoy the crazy characters, enjoy them. They're unique and beautiful. Fall back in love with humanity. Don't be afraid of humanity anymore. It's not really as bad as it looks. The, the news has made the 5% of humanity that isn't at peace has made it so huge, 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 huge. But really, 95% of the people and 95% of the planet is at peace. It really is. It's peaceful moments. And people love to laugh. People love to play. People love you. Want to meet you. And so share yourself, Angel. You're a sensitive one if you're hiding from humans and you're hiding from reality and you're hiding from participating in life. Just get your work done and get the heck out of there as fast as you can so you don't have to deal with the crazy humans too much. But they are actually really beautiful. Humanity is beautiful. It's a it's a lovely creation. It's just you now in a stage where it needs to do some growing up right now. But you're here to help with that. Participate in your life. Join in with your life. Join in with the other humans. And don't be absent for this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful great awakening that's happening. We need your help. And we need you to do your evolution so that you can contribute what you came to contribute to the healing of this man's consciousness of this species. Once you heal what's happened for you or what dysfunction you've taken on, you can help the others then. And be the 007 secret agent of love that you came here to be. You didn't come here not to be bothered. You came here to be bugged the heck out of you until you grow. <laughs> so, buckle up and get to work on the grows. It's okay. The humans are harmless. And once this lifetime is over, you're not going to remember every little thing somebody did to upset you or whatever. You're going to remember the growth and you're going to remember the collecting of experience. You're going to remember how beautiful and exciting an experience this was because this is actually pretty exciting for a soul because everything's solid. I mean, this is really unique. This isn't an everyday experience and not just any soul gets to come here. Souls that have have some professionalism, have some skills, have the ability to transmute darkness. Only those souls are allowed to come here and you're a professional. So, jump on in. It's not so bad being a human. At the end, you're going to think it was a delicious experience. Even with all the pain and the joy and the happiness and the laughter and the sadness and everything in between, you're going to be, wow, that was exciting. That was a good ride. <laughs> Namaste.